Hi friends, it's me, Trisha. Let's catch up. <clears throat> All right, so I have a couple things. I have one thing on the needles, one thing on the hook. I've got quite a few. All right, my dog is being cuckoo already. Come on up, come on, Scoop, up, come on. All right, got a dog in my lap. All right, so <laughs> I've got, what is this, Emma or Ella? Ella's Gems Blanket. Still trucking along on that. Here we are. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm using the Big Twist yarn for this, and it's, I mean, even in the skein, it's very uh, fuzzy. Can you see, like, the halo on there? Like, especially right here. That's how it's looking on the blanket as I use it, too. So, whatever. It's going to be, like, very warm and hopefully not pilly. But I got this yarn off of Marketplace. I wanted to use it up. And now I actually think I'm going to have to go and buy more yarn. So, there's that. All right. So, that's going along nicely. I got quite a few acquisitions. And one of them included this which is called the ice cream social shawl nice lace work in that so i've been working on that and that is by lisa ross lisa k ross here's a picture of what it will look like it goes from these thicker colors into a thinner band and then the main color is this gray color on this one so it's going to be thick gray bands and then the thin of these contrast colors in between. So that's going very well. And that's on actually a size 4, a US 4. Yeah, a 3.50 millimeter needle. I have it on my interchangeable needle that I have to show you because I bought a new set of interchangeable needles. It's like I collect needles or something. I love them. All right, so let's also take a look at what I finished. All right, I'm gonna reach over here. My April block for a repeat crafter me, the gnome blanket. Oh, I found an end. Oh, I guess it is. It's tucked in, but that is complete. Looks a little wonky, but that's okay. This right here almost looks like it's a mistake, but it's just the way that I was pulling on the yarn and um, weaving it in. But once it's all together, it'll be fine. I've been using all scrap yarns for that, so I wouldn't even be able to tell you what it was. Okay, then I finished my Hermione Everyday Socks with the Jawal. I think that's how you say it. Who knows? <laughs> you tell me. It's a superwash Lang. And here they are. All finished with the reinforced heel here. I'll have to let you know how it feels when I wear it. I've never really busted through my heels anyhow, but it was nice to have that extra reinforcing thread in there. Okay, so those are complete. Actually, I'm not even sure if I'm, I might give these to my mom. We'll see. To be determined where they're gonna go. On them, those are my finished objects. Now let's get into the fun stuff of what I bought. <laughs> okay, so I bought Flexi Flips. Oh, this dog. Because my friend loves Flexi Flips, so I had to try it, right? These are a US one, 2.5 millimeter, but when I got home and I looked at the needles that I was using for the Hermione's, I think I was using 2.25. So, whatever. I'm gonna make, I'm probably gonna make a pair of socks that are ribbed so that even if I, it is a little more loose than this pair that I made, at least the ribbing will draw it in some. But these are what they look like, little flexi flips. I guess one side is sharp and one side is dull. Is that how this works? Yeah. So I don't know if you could actually see that, but whatever, I'll have to let you know how they work out. My friend swears by them. So I picked those up and then I got the Lake Indigo Make Happy Interchangeable 
circular birchwood knitting needle set with five inch needles. This has two cords for 24 inch length, two cords for 32 inch length, and one cord for 40 inch length. It has US 4, a 3.5 millimeter, all the way up to US 17, which is a 12 millimeter. Comes in this nice case. Looks like denim, right? Indigo, hence the name Indigo. Here they are, all nice and lovely. And then this has the different length cords in there. But this also, uh, I guess this could be propped up somehow. How, how does this work? I don't know. Oh, maybe like this, right? Yeah, because this kind of folds. But honestly, I don't know when I would use it like this, right? I don't know. Whatever the case. <laughs> Freaked my dog out. <laughs> All right. So then I also finally purchased one of these counter rings. I love it. I've always wanted this, but I'm using it right now for my shawl. So it's not like I could switch it. My hands are so crazy because sometimes this fits and then other times it's too loose. It depends on the weather, I guess, and if I'm cold or warm, which makes sense, right? But yeah, there it is, lovely. That's not all. Let's see what else I got. Okay, so for this shawl, the Ice Cream Social, I actually, let's move some stuff out of the way here. I have it inside my little chicken pop. <laughs> so I have this little clip holding the bag in here so it doesn't slip into it. And then on the clip, I hang a little bag from, this one is from my Mindful Souls box. I also have some bags from Rock's box that used to have jewelry in it. But what I did was I balled up all the little mini skeins and I put them in these little bags. So I've got all my other little ones in here. And the little mini skeins are actually 81 yards, so 20 grams. And it's an 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon blend. All right, so I got sidetracked. This goes here. Getting back on track now. The remainder of skeins that are left that are not in this yet because I didn't cake them up are these two colors. See me now in mint to be. I like them. And this is another one of the body. So it's a gray color. Moving right along. <laughs> Let's take a look. I also bought Baraco Vivo cotton yarn and it's a three weight. I got two of these because they had a store sample of the tank top agate and I wanted to do that. It said that it only used two skeins. I went home and checked online and then saw that that was like for the smallest size and I think it was a lot smaller than what I am. So this actually is 317 yards for each ball, 100% cotton. So today I ran over to my local yarn shop and tried to find cotton. I didn't bring this with me and they didn't have this exact cotton. So I grabbed these, you tell me. I knew that these looked kind of, my hair is so staticky today, I'm sorry. These looked shiny and this I knew was slubby. I remembered that much. So what do you think? If I use this, the whole reason why I got this is just to make up some for some of the yardage, but these are only 50 grams. So this only has 164 yards. I might actually even need more, but whatever. <laughs> Entertain me. Entertain this thought for a minute. Do you think that this goes first off? I think it would, I, it, it's not going to look terrible to have this on the bottom, right? Might be pretty. A little more subdued than this crazy colors here. And you know what's interesting? If you could see right there in the puzzle that I made, doesn't it kind of look like that? Yeah, that's creepy. All right, 
So I'm thinking this will be nice for the bottom part of that tank top because it has like a fan or lacy, some kind of lacy detail on the bottom that I figure this would go a solid color and then see how it looks shiny even right there and then have this on top. Let me know your thoughts. I'm not sure which way I'm going with that. And I also got this bad boy because this was 40% off today. So I snagged that. This is Noro, but I can't pronounce it. It's um, Kakagori. I don't know how you say that. How do you say that? This is a three-way as well. Would these go? And it's the same kind of yarn, it seems like, right? This is not, is it 100% cotton? No, this is cotton, silk, viscose, and polyamide. 50% cotton. So, I mean, it still would go with it, but I think I want to stick with a solid color with it. But I, ha I couldn't leave this. This is 600 meters. Beautiful. I can make the tank out of this. All right. And then I also picked up, because I was like, oh, if, I, if you have, because I saw they had flexi flips at this yarn shop, Knit New Haven. I was like, oh, okay. Since you have flexi flips, I thought I needed a size zero, but I guess I needed a one, which was a 2.25 instead of a 2.5. Am I, am I thinking correctly? I don't even know. I'll have to look it up after for my Hermione. But anyhow, I asked for a zero in flexi flips. She didn't have it, but she had these, the Haya Haya Sharps. These are a tad bit shorter. These are eight inch. So they're a tad bit shorter than the flexi flips. But I really like sharp, and these are sharp. So I don't know why, but I feel like I have these or something similar. I'll have to look. One day I'm gonna have to share all my needles and show you. I like hoard them, I collect them, but not today. I'll try to keep this relatively short, even though I feel like I'm going over now. All right, so we're almost done what I got. Thanks for being patient. And let's see. Oh, I got another kit. <laughs> I got this kit here. It was on sale. It's regularly 70, but it's been a while, so I don't even remember how much I spent on it. Unless I have the receipt right here. Let's see. No, I don't. Not for this one. Oh, well. Anyhow. This is what it's going to look like, but with different colors, and you could barely see that, right? Not a good picture. It's called Which Way by Stephanie Scheiman. Scheiman. See that? And it has Wonderland Yarns, which I love because they're, they're based out of Vermont. Vermont. I said that weird. Vermont. <laughs> but look, here's my debacle. Look, right? In a lovely organza bag but they're not labeled. Like this other pattern that, that I got, the Ice Cream Social, they're all banded, they're all labeled. I know which ones they are. This one has different color reds. I don't know which red this is supposed to be for the pattern, right? Help me out a little here. How will I know? Well, obviously that's not right. So I guess I'm just gonna have to figure it out and wing it when I get to it. That's one of those things that you, I wish I paid more attention when I bought it, but it's very squishy. It's very nice. What kind of yarn is it? Let's see. I mean, what's it made of? 100% superwash. Yeah. And for the, I guess the smaller ones are, they feel different though. They don't feel like they're all the same as I feel the bag. <laughs> whatever all right so I'll have to let you know how that goes I'm sure I'll show you as I once I get into that it's gonna be a while I have so many kits but I couldn't leave that one all right and I also snagged the simply worsted spray by haiku look at that color I love this so nice this one has 280 yards and it's 55% superwash merino superwash and 28% acrylic 17% nylon I love it 
And that's not all. When I was making those Hermione socks, I couldn't see, sometimes I couldn't see where I was purling. And with it, when, bleh, I can't get out my words. With the black rose, I was like, I, I cannot see this. So I grabbed a neck lamp. Is this the funniest thing ever? But it works so perfectly for me to be able to see as I'm knitting on those stitches. Of course, my hair is in the way, but I'm trying not to blind you. And the fun thing about this, look, it changes different colors too. Which I don't think you could really see that from here, but whatever. And I got it from a yarn shop instead of going on Amazon. Which I, I'm not going to lie, I was tempted to get it from Amazon. But I was like, let me give some business to the stores to keep them in business, right? So that's my story. That's what I got. I had a lot of fun. Can you tell? All right, friends. That's it. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you soon. Be well. Bye.